welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today, y'all, we're going to make some butterscotch apple butter. I know, right? Y'all, stick around. All right, y'all. So, in order to make your butterscotch apple butter, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need about 15 to 16 medium to large apples, okay? What kind of apples is totally up to you. I have the Granny Smith apples um, that I'm going to be using today. All right, you're also going to need some butterscotch chips, okay? Butterscotch chips, okay? You're going to need a cup of butterscotch chips to be exact. You're also going to need two and a half cups of packed brown sugar. You can use whatever kind of sugar you like, but I think this particular kind of uh, sugar makes a better apple butter in my opinion, okay? So this is packed. I did pack it down to make sure I got two and a half cups, okay? You're also gonna need, depending on the size of your crock pot, all right? So for this particular crock pot that I have, I have two. Um, this one is a little larger than the burgundy crock pot that I have. So because this is a little larger, I don't know what size it is, I'm probably gonna use a full cup of apple juice in this one. And I use three quarters of a cup of apple juice in my other crock pot okay because the sizes they're just a little bit different in size okay not by much okay you're gonna need a tablespoon of cinnamon you're gonna need some nutmeg some ginger you can use some ground cloves if you like but that's up to you if you like ground cloves okay now what we're gonna do y'all we're gonna go ahead and get started okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt the camera down so y'all can see all right Let's get some apple butter going. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get the apples here. Pour it into my crock pot. All right. Oh, yeah. That's a crock pot bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a crock pot bowl. Okay. I'm going to spread them around a little bit. I'm going to mash them down. It's <laughs> a lot of apples in there, ain't it? Okay, you all. Y'all come a little close. There we go. There we go. Now y'all can see. Now y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, y'all. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour over my cup of apple juice here. Okay? Just going to pour that over. That's all you need. Okay? It's a cup of apple juice. You don't need no more than that. Okay? Next, I'm going to add in my nice big tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. Yes, I am. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then I'm going to add in a teaspoon. Nice, big, heavy teaspoon of gin. Come on and sprinkle for me now. You're messing up my video. <laughs> it's still going Okay. There we go. Of ginger. Just one way right. All right, you all. Lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead now and put over my brown sugar. And I'm just going to, let me just rake it out. Because I'm going to move this around all over the top. Spread that out. Just like so. Okay. I'm not going to mix this up. Okay, it's going to cook down all by itself. All I'm going to do is just flatten it out enough to get my lid out. That's it. Good. Stop playing. Stop playing. I'm going to move this around just like so. I just want to be able to get my lid on, okay? There we go. All right. And I need to wash my hands. All right. So now I got my lid on. Gently covering this, right? I ain't mashing it down. Just gently covering my apples and my brown sugar. This is going to cook down, okay? It's going to cook down. You don't have to worry about this. And you do want to come back periodically every few hours or so and just give it a stir. All right? You're just going to give it a stir. And that's it. You want to put your lid back on and walk away from it. All right, and it's gonna cook all night long for me, rather. 
all night long, okay? Now, before it's completely done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add our butterscotch. We're gonna mix the butterscotch in because the butterscotch has to cook inside of this as well. It is so good. Y'all, I've done this already and it tastes so good. Yes, it does. So look, I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, y'all, let this cook. I'm gonna see y'all back here tomorrow. All right, y'all, we are back. It is the next morning and uh, I haven't even had coffee yet, but that's okay. It's over there. It's waiting on me. <laughs> But anyway, you all, we're going to go ahead and open this apple butter. Oh, man. I said it in the video uh, on the chocolate chip apple butter that I did for Mr. H. Y'all, I'm telling you, my closest friend said that it smells like fall to her in the morning. And y'all, she is right <coughs> This smells like a beautiful fall morning inside of a nice warm house and it's freezing cold outside. This is literally fall in the crock pot. <laughs> that smells so good. All right, y'all. So all I'm doing is giving this a mix. You can see how lumpy this is, how chunky this is still with all of the apple pieces in it. So I'm just going to give it a quick little stir around. Now, remember I added a cup of apple juice to this pot, and I added that cup because I didn't want it to stick. But as you can see, as the apples cook down, you all, they make their own juice, okay? See that? They make their own juice. But that apple juice that I put in the bottom, I just didn't want my apples to stick, okay? But I probably could have put a little bit less in there even then, all right? Now, you all, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and use the immersion blender. If you have a food processor and you want to pour this out into the food processor to puree this, you can do that, okay? But I'm going to use my little handheld blender and get this in. And I'm going to do this, this blender, being careful because it'll splash back. Okay? Yeah. We're wanting this to be a nice smooth texture, okay? No clumps. Nice and smooth. Alright, so my apple butter is done. It is nice and smooth. And what I'm going to do now is add in my butterscotch you all and this still has four hours to go right but what I'm gonna do is first of all I'm gonna get this butterscotch added <laughs> a nice big heaping cup of butterscotch is gonna go right inside okay yeah and then I'm just gonna give that a mix in Actually, I'm just going to add the whole bag. It wasn't a lot left anyway. I'm going to add the whole bag. And this is going to start to melt. I already smell that butterscotch. I already got the butterscotch flavor. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just going to give this a mix around. And that's it. Now this still has four hours. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to put that on high because I need for this to cook on high for the next two hours, okay? And then after two hours, I'm going to come back and check it to see if this sauce is nice and thick. And if so, then we can start canning it up. Otherwise, it's going to go the full four hours, okay? All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook and do its thing. This is smelling amazing. And I'm going to see y'all back here in just a few. All right, y'all. That 24 hours is done. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Y'all, <laughs> put that right there. 
this butterscotch apple butter, I'm telling you, is the truth. And it smells so good, y'all. It's so nice and thick. Look at that. Look at that. That's just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Full 24 hours, okay? I was hoping that in 22 I could get it done, but no. 24. <laughs> And that's with putting it on high the last two hours of the cook time, okay? Now, if you want to maybe try to do this in half the time, maybe you could start off cooking it on high in your crock pot, okay? But I haven't done that. I've only done the low and slow, okay? All right? But y'all, we got to go ahead and get this jarred up and get it canned up. It's time. It's time. Mm-hmm. It is time to do this, baby. Yeah. It's time. Hmm. All right, y'all. My jars have been in a 235 degree oven for the last 35, 45 minutes. <laughs> okay? But what I'm going to do is they're all hot. And so I'm going to go ahead and I took all five of them out. So I'm going to work quickly to get this apple butter in the jars. I don't want my jars to start to cool down. So I'm going to work quickly, okay? All I'm going to do is get it jarred up. That's it. And you all, once I get it filled, I'm only leaving a quarter of an inch head space on these, okay? Just a quarter of an inch. And that's it. All right? See how quick that's going? I'm moving on the jar. Number two now. Woo! Woo! Okay. <laughs> Let me grab this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this filled up as quickly as I can. I want all of these things to stay hot. Quarter of an inch head space is all we're going for. Okay. Oh, yes. This tastes so amazingly good, y'all. I mean, real good. Woo! I said I was going to put these on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's better. And if your jar is a little too full... All you have to do is just scoop a little bit of it out, okay? Yes, indeed. Don't want to go over that quarter of an inch head space. I was watching Lead Farmer 73, his live today. While I work, right? <laughs> and you all, he had just went to the farmer's market and picked up some boxes of apples for a very reasonable price. A very reasonable price. I think he said like five or seven dollars for a whole case. Man. Now, no, they wasn't picture perfect or nothing like that. They had a little bug damage, but I'm going to tell you, my mom said, cut that part out. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now, I have enough apples, apple butter left in here that I know I'm going to get at least another pint or so. Get my rims wiped down. This is just plain water. All right. Get a band on. As soon as I can find a band. All right. I'm popping that on my steam can, in my steam can right there. I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm just wiping the rims up real good. All right. This one was pretty messy. I'm going to grab another paper towel. And start to wipe that again just to make sure there's nothing. Perfect.
get these in the canner. So that water in the canner, I have the fire on low. So that water is nice and hot as well. That's Mr. H, y'all making all that noise. <laughs> he trying to sneak out. <laughs> okay. Y'all look at that beautiful butterscotch apple butter right there. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Alright, let me make some room here. Get that baby in there. I'm going to get the lid on here. I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to high, you all. Let me get my lid. There we go. Get my lid on. And once this comes up to temperature for the steam canner, it has a gauge on it. On this gauge, for me, when it gets to the dark green area here for me, that's when I can start my time, okay? So you all, these are going to process. If you had a steam canner or a water bath canner, you would process these pint-sized jars for 10 minutes. If you were doing half pints like these, okay? You would still process them for 10 minutes, okay? All right, so half pints, pints are still going to be 10 minutes, okay? All right, y'all, so once these are done, I will bring y'all back when the time is up and this delicious apple butter is coming out of the canner. It smells amazing in here tonight, y'all. Amazing. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, the timer has gone off. I'm going to turn my fire off, turn off my timer. It is... 8.15 in the p.m. <laughs> Let's get this lid. Raise that a bit. Let some of that steam out of there, y'all. They done. I'm going to pull them out the can. Oh, yes. Let's get them out. Butterscotch apple butter. <laughs> Miss H, what did you think of that chocolate chip apple butter? Oh, it was good. It was good. Yeah. It's very good. I'm happy that you liked it. I'm very happy that you liked it, babe. Y'all gotta find a way to get him some chocolate when, you know, something happened. We we still got to be able to, he got to be able to eat chocolate. <laughs> I'm working it in the best I can. <laughs> All right. Absolutely beautiful. Butterscotch apple butter is done. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Seven pints of butterscotch apple butter. I don't know what size crock pot. Love that sound. I don't know what size crock pot that is, y'all, but clearly it holds a lot to have given me seven pints of deliciously thick butterscotch apple butter all right all right y'all that is going to do it for this evening y'all we finna shut it down right mr h yes we finna shut it down yes, shut it down <laughs> for the evening y'all but as always we pick up again and we start it all over bright and early in the morning all right y'all so if you want to make yourself some delicious butterscotch apple butter by all means please do so if you want to see how I did the chocolate chip apple butter, I will put that at the end of this video so you can click on that as well. All right, y'all? Well, that's going to do it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a nice big thumbs up. As my grandson says, smash that like button. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. You can also share our videos as well, you all, on your social media platforms, okay? Thank you all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.